We're back. Uh, so I had a people problem. I was getting my tripod. I know Dan and Phil always say, have your stuff ready ahead of time. Um, but I wasn't thinking of doing uh, dinner skunk at the time. So that's why no tripod originally. Okay, so you're going to take the, uh, what do you call it, Parmesan, swish it in, swish, 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 put a little bit more, we want, we're going to have a cheesy egg situation, and I will be washing these dishes once I'm done, I'm using this to mix it in, um, now the reason I said you say microwave safe bowl is in case you want a small, uh, you want to nuke this in the bowl. Now I'm going to get another microwave safe bowl uh, to put it in once I'm done mixing because it's a little bit too small for what I was thinking and I've already started mixing it. So next we're going to grab our cheese uh, and you could put, use toast. I'm not toasting my bread because I don't feel like it and also it's late. So we're going to, excuse me all. We're going to take the cheese and sprinkle a small handful. Now the reason I say normally Pokemon Skunk, a friendly neighborhood Pokemon Skunk would be doing a big glob of cheese. However, the reason I'm not doing a big glob is because we have Parmesan already mixed in here. So we're going to mix the cheese and mix and mix and mix and mix and mix up, pour up, pour up, pour up. Yeah, if you're old enough to remember that song, you deserve a senior citizen card. <laughs> We're gonna add some of that. The reason I'm mixing in a bunch of this is so we have flavor. I want it cheesy. Because if you're in a friendly neighborhood, Puzzle Skunk, there's a cheese head. So we're going to add that. We're just gonna mix this all in. Tiny bit of pepper. So, no pepper, that's fine. We have the hot sauce. Okay, so the next part, now that we have our egg mixed, we're going to put that to the side. We're going to start chapalopping them hot dogs. Uh, now, and we also need to get the container that's going to go in the microwave for that. And it'll be this guy. And then, na 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 Okay, I'm going to set that on the plate. It's over there for a minute so we can put that up. The cheese is going away. There's no more cheese. I don't want more cheese. But I'll put it to the side for right now because I might sprinkle some more. I don't know yet. Okay, so we're going to chop up the hot dogs. And you can do one to two. Now, if you're doing this for a bunch of people, you could obviously do more than two. But since it's just me, I'm doing two. Uh, I don't like eating one singular hot dog on its own. It's just a thing. It bothers me. Um, I'm going to wash this after I finish it. There are different ways you can cut it. I'm going to show you both ways that I usually will cut it. And we're going to just slice, 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 slice. It's not perfect, but it doesn't need to be perfect because it's just going in my belly. Slice, 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 and they don't have to be the same size. It does cook better when they are the same size, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, so we're going to put those pieces to the side, and we're going to grab Senor Hot Dog number two. Now, Hot Dog number two, I'm going to slice it the other way. Now, most people, including Papa Puzzled Skunk, tend to uh, rinse theirs or wash theirs off before they eat it. I do not. I do not follow that school of thought. I don't believe in it. Uh, well, 
I won't rinse my food off before I eat it. Um, so, like, even with bologna, I don't rinse. The only time you'll ever see me rinse it off before I eat it is if I'm getting something that I don't normally get. Like, okay, so I prefer chicken and uh, hot dogs and bologna. But if it's a, and I prefer Guantley. These are Guantley dogs. Guantley is the best brand. Trust me. Other brands are doable, but Guantley is the superior brand. Now, when we cut it this way, I'm trying to get them kind of the same size. Hopefully. Um, so we're going to do the best we can and hope for the rest. Y'all aren't going to see me eat it because, well, y'all don't need to see me eat it. Uh... Dinner skunk isn't about me eating the thing. Dinner skunk is about prepping the thing in this case. Because we have breakfast and lunch skunk, so it's time we do dinner skunk. Dinner skunk actually was supposed to happen a couple other times, but one time it happened, the filming didn't turn out how I wanted it. The other time there was too many things in the way, and then the one other time it just didn't work. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some of these pieces. And we'll actually first let's set this down. Put the knife in the sink so I can wash it as soon as I finish. Um, so we're going to move this back towards the back. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take these here pieces of hot dog. We're going to place them along the bottom of the bowl. And have it act as a border. Yeah. So we have our border. Let's see. Let's show it off. There. So then the stuff in the middle, the middle pieces, which were cut from the second dog, are going to go in the middle. And we're just going to sprinkle them onto the bottom. Now, I think I might have some spam. So, I might add one slice. Then. One single. Yes. We'll add one singular slice. So, I kind of regret So, we're just going to get that knife back real quick. And it's only going to be a super thin. Oh, well, actually, no. We don't need to grab the knife. We have plastic knife to the rescue. So we're going to grab the plastic knife. We're going to just grab a thin sliver. There, perfect. That's all we need. It's more for added flavor than actual meat content, which is why we don't want the whole thing. I don't need the whole thing because I've got two hot dogs. We are going to heat this knife out though because we need it to slice and dice. We're just going to add the spam, the thin slice. It's basically one slice. Well, it was really two, but one little slice that got broke up into two parts. We're going to slice this up. Are you talking to the food? No, I'm doing the uh, video. Oh gosh! Uh, don't worry, you're not on. You're not on camera. Are you sure? Yes. You're not on camera. Get away from the. Cut it off for a second, please, so I can get in the kitchen for a minute. Okay, we're back. So uh, I had to pause for a minute. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to. Uh, let's see. slice this spam into little bits. Not little, little bits, because we still need the flavor. And I'm eating a little bit late, but that's okay, because I don't have to go to work in the morning. So we're going to take the spam bits and just sprinkle them along the bottom. And we're going to mix this up just one more minute, because this has been sitting a minute. So we're just mix, mix, mix. We're going to get rid of this fork because we no longer need it. So we're going to take our little scooper 
and we're going to grab the egg and we're going to do this now you might be asking yourself why don't you just dump I could normally I would but I'm trying to do better presentation and also I'm trying to make sure that I cover all of the pieces so I usually will have two eggs uh, usually when I make eggs I try to have two if we don't have enough for two then I either will omit the egg completely or go with the one but I prefer to have two or none at all because I just prefer two eggs it just tastes better with two you get fuller with two and also by having two eggs you'd make uh, you get four and it's just plain better all right so we're just gonna take this last little bit here pour it over all right this is gonna go in the sink we'll wash that after we eat plus it's gonna tip of the day uh, some people will say wash as you go I agree with that for the most part if you're making a big thing but if you're making it just for yourself wait till the, unless you're using the stove or something like if you're just doing microwave foods like I'm doing do it at the end once you've finished because that way you don't have to you're not stopping every few minutes to do fix things okay so we are going to grab the cheese back because I did make an executive decision to sprinkle a little bit more cheese in um, so what we're going to do now is open the cheese Senor cheese is going to be there and now we're going to take this take these pieces oh that guy needs to go somewhere we'll just plop you there um oh and there's another piece of that guy so we'll just plop you there we're going to take the four pieces that i cut from the sides of the hot dog see there's a knife so i can use the knife so i don't get egg on my finger i had to wash it anyway but after this anyway but just prevent a mess so we're going to take that and we're going to put that guy right there and then finally I'm just going to add the last little sprinkle of cheese and we're done so what's going to happen next is I'm going to stick this in the microwave for one to two minutes uh, I think maybe two I don't know yet or maybe one and see how it goes so what we do is we are going to Take this carefully. Okay, so we're going to carefully pick this up. Take this to the microwave and get it nuked. Now, the reason I microwave my eggs in the evening, I won't use the stove at night because it's usually late if I'm doing this. It's usually late, and I don't feel like using the stove late at night, especially if I don't in, don't know what I'm going to eat and then I decide to do this. So, yeah, we're just going to put the lid on it like this, and it's just going to go for a minute. And let's do one, zero, zero, bop, bop, and start. Now it started. I put the lid on it loosely so it won't explode, but also so that it'll cover up. Then we're just going to put the... Alright, we're going to get rid of the... Well, mm, eh, there's a little bit left, so we'll put that back in the tree. Yeah, throw it away. Because there's only a little bit left, and I can get us more tomorrow. Or, I uh, mean, Saturday. Okay, so we're going to put the other cheese back in the fridge. And while that cooks, um, I don't have a name for this dish. We'll just call it hot dog gala eggs and cheese. I don't know. We don't have, I don't have a name for it. It's basically an omelet thing. Cheesy omelet -y something or other. So that's just going to be cooking out, cooking away. And there we go. Um, so, okay. So we're making hot dog cheesy hot dog eggs for dinner tonight because I feel like it. Um, the stuff in the background is Grandma Puffet Skunk's stuff she's watching. 
So you might hear some Tyler Perry from time to time because we like it in this house. So the first thing you're going to do, and I already started because I didn't think to do this uh, when I started, but crack two eggs into a microwave safe container. Uh, you can do it on the stove, but uh, for the sake of dinner skunk, I'm not using the stove because I don't want to use the stove for my eggs unless I'm using it at breakfast time. But like late in the day, I want a quick, easy, so we're going to use microwave, microwave safe container. Uh, I usually... <sighs> okay, so you're going to take the eggs. Now, normally I follow the Ming Tsai um, school of opinion and use chopsticks. But I don't know where my chopsticks are. I have another pair, but I don't want to open them because they're special and they come from Japan. And I don't want to risk losing them. I might have misplaced the other pair. Uh, so I had to use a fork. But the Ming Tsai, uh, Ming Tsai, Ming Tsai school of opinion says use chopsticks when whisking your eggs and they'll whisk much better, which is true. I have done it before. It works wonders. Mwah, perfect. Okay. So we're going to take these eggs and we're going to take this cup here and we're going to have to chop these up and we're going to take some of this and we're going to take some sharp cheddar cheese I pref as long as it's real cheese I don't care about brand no fake cheese and uh, like and when I say fake cheese I mean like fake cheese as in fake cheese like Velveeta or um yeah, Velveeta or uh, vegan cheese, because that's not real cheese either. We don't stand vegan cheese in this house. Like, don't ask me why. I just, I just don't stand vegan cheese. Ooh, that was a sound I did not want to hear. Oh, well. Sorry, y'all. Well, and y'all are um, not seeing me. Oh, I need to get some more cheese. Okay. Mm, we'll cheese. Okay, so we're gonna take the Parmesan. I should have put the. And just like that. I put the fork in there. That was a bad idea. So let's grab us a fresh fork. Actually, you no. Know. Let's grab a plastic one because I think we have a plastic fork. I think. I'm not sure. No, we have a bunch of plastic knives. Yes, we do. So, since I made a mistake and put the other one in the sink. Oh, and we're going to need some hot sauce, but that's for later. So, we're going to take the plastic fork and we're just going to mix it again. Okay, kids, get ready for dinner skunk. The final third installment in this trilogy of the breakfast, lunch, and dinner skunk. There might be dessert skunk if I feel like it, but I doubt it. Product. I added some hot sauce for flavor, and we've got two slices of bread in case I get a sandwich or something, and we're going to watch some pb and well, it's not going to show up on camera too good, but here, I'll move just a here closer, so it'll show up a little bit better. We're gonna watch PB and J, because I have taken to watching PB and J and eating my food. Because my goal is to finish all of uh, PB and J order at some point by the end of the year, because they finally added it, and I'm so glad. So we're just going to sit down and eat this delicious food and watch PB and J, uh, and that's it. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Um, yeah. Bye-bye.